So welcome to our video today. Today we spoke to Kim from instarcoaching.com. Kim works in a way of focusing on positive psychology and she offers a, a variety of different ways to support mental health. Uh, hopefully you enjoy our chat together and please get in contact with her if you have any questions at all. Thank you. Okay, so welcome Kim. And can you maybe start by telling us a bit about um, how you work with mental health and support it in Hampshire? Hi Claire. Thank you for um, asking me to, to come on with you. Um, so what I do is I am director of Instar Coaching CIC. And um, the, what we focus on with Instar Coaching is um, positive psychology, bringing positive psychology to the community. And uh, I do that in various ways, various activities. Most of them are quite joyful activities to increase positive emotion. Mm -hmm. So that will be in person. Obviously, uh, currently, a lot of my work has gone online and that has adapted to online. So that's good. So that's how I um, address mental health, really, with positive psychology. Mm -hmm. And what, what is it that you think made you kind of interested in, in your particular approach that you take? I think it was the fact that I, I got to know about positive psychology. Um, I do, one of the things that I do is laughter yoga, uh, that I actually uh, run the classes now. And I was actually going to a laughter yoga um, and the teacher there was a lecturer at um, a university and um, she told me about positive psychology and I went along for an introduction and found out about it. I ended up doing a master's in positive psychology, which I wasn't expecting at all. And, um, and I just love the approach. Traditional um, psychology looks at um, disorder and what's going, what's not going so good. Whereas the positive psychology approach is about what's going well, so it focuses on strengths. Um, and uh, yeah, so really pulls out the, the positive emotion. So as I say, everything I do is geared around increasing positive emotion, mm -hmm. which, and also connection, um, so within communities to reduce isolation. And I imagine at the moment, that's a, a really key way on, on focusing people mm -hmm. to, to support their mental health. Definitely, definitely. I think it is, you know, increased because of COVID. Uh, you mentioned in their laughter yoga, and, and I imagine there's people watching that, that might not have heard of it or might have heard a little bit about it. Could you maybe, maybe explain a little bit more what that involves? Yeah, definitely. So laughter yoga was started um, in India by a medical doctor called Madan Kataria. And um, his idea was to was the fact that, you know, we can wait for a long time to to laugh. Uh, we need to find something funny. Um, but his idea was actually why wait? So there's exercises that we do, really short exercises, which um, encourage, which kind of like forced laughter. Mm -hmm. So we might kind of like go ha ha, ho ho ho. So you're kind of like making those noises. And when you're in a group of people, particularly, you kind of like get that energy. Mm -hmm. There's eye contact, which is about connection. Um, and then obviously, if you can imagine with a group of people doing silly things, you end up then it's a spontaneous laughter. Mm -hmm. The key thing is, is your body doesn't know the difference. Your mind does. So there's an element of actually, you know, keep your mind out of it. Try to, to switch your mind off, mm -hmm. which then, of course, you then get mind, mindfulness. So laughter is brilliant for connection, uh, social bonds and um, being present and just that whole boost of endorphins. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think um, for me personally, that idea of being able to engage a little bit with silliness um, it, it is, is quite a different way of thinking. I think quite often in counselling, it is, it, and there, there's definitely a place for seriousness, but, but certainly sometimes being able to engage with that kind of, that child part of ourselves to be a bit silly and give ourselves permission um, and certainly if you're in a group of people and everyone's uh, managing to tap in a little bit, there's, a, there's a more of a sense of permission. Um, yeah, definitely. And, yeah. and builds, you get that whole kind of like building of, um, of fun and laughter and like you say, silliness. Yeah. And um, I just wanted to say, Claire, that with positive psychology, what, we, what we're not doing is it's not just about positive thinking. Um, so, you know, just thinking positively, it's all scientifically um, based and um, also uh, the, the approach 
you know, it's not the fact that we don't kind of like appreciate that um, anger and sadness and fear are part of life. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just that the focus is on strengths and resilience and all of the all of the positive, um, yeah, approaches. Yeah, I, th I think that's that's part of what I I've really enjoyed about um, Healthy Heads in Hampshire is all of these different ways that are, that are around us. Um, and just slightly different um, approaches, but to the same kind of, uh, to the same maybe difficulties and to the same hopes, which is, is helping helping people support their, their mental health in whichever way works for them. Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah. Something for everyone. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so uh, what is it that you think makes your service unique? Well, I think it is that. It literally is about something for everyone. Um, I think if uh, on, a, on the physical basis, if we can actually all get together, then um, there's lots of things that, you know, there's groups that I offer. So there will be the laughter. I also um, take people out in nature walking, which is, has been proven as a really good uh, boost to mental health to get out um, in nature. So I do that as well. Um, and uh, then the positive psychology courses, which if we can, we'll do that as a, you know, as a physical, you're in the same room together as a group. But what I've needed to do is to put that all online and they've all adapted to line really well. Mm -hmm. So we're running a positive psychology course at the moment um, and we'll be starting a new one in September. So if anybody wants to find out more, come and, you know, let me know. Um, and the positive psychology course looks at positive emotion. It looks at gratitude, resilience, hope. So all these, you know, lovely things that you can, you know, apply to real life. So there's the courses, there's the being out in nature. And of course, as we've already talked about the laughter yoga and one-to-one -one coaching. So yeah, so, a real, well, real mixture of choices. <laughs> Something for everyone. I think yeah. that's like that's what I like. That I like personally. I like variety. Yeah. And um, and I think yeah, if you don't like being, if you like being outside, great. Come and do some walking outside. If you like, if you don't like being outside, then come inside and do one of the courses. If you like being silly and uh, letting your hair down, come to laughter. Mm -hmm. And are your positive psychology courses, how long do they run for? What, what, what do people kind of, um, what can they expect from them, I guess? Okay, so um, as I said, we've put it online. Now, when we, when we used to run them, um, at, we used to run as a day workshop. So it might be that we might go back into that. But currently, it will be online for six weeks. Um, and uh, we're running them in an evening, but we could and uh, Saturday afternoon. So we're open to running at any time, really, when it suits you know a group of people. Um, yeah, so uh, a one and a half hour, one and a half hour session. Yeah, get online, do some learning, do some look at some research, um, do some connecting in breakout rooms, one to one with somebody else um, and some large group discussions. And then we give out some home tasks because, you know, it, with any, with most of like coaching models, it's about actually doing what you do in a session, but then taking that out and putting it into your real, into real life mm -hmm. um, and testing it out. And a practical application. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So uh, have you got any kind of tips or recommendations that people can use at home? I think one of the first things, and we've talked about the difference between maybe positive psychology and um, traditional psychology. But I think, you know, we, I need to kind of remember, and I, and I do recognize this in the clients that I see, is the whole um, raised anxiety especially, you know, we can say that currently, can't we? So, so for me to get into the positive, to sort of like move over into the positive frame, let's deal with anxiety first. Um, and one of my favorite things, uh, strategies for dealing with anxiety is a grounding technique. Um, I don't know if you know it, Claire, or, you know, it's called different things in different uh, places, but five, four, three, two, one is what I know it as. Mm -hmm. Um, so literally you would, and you can do this anywhere. So it's a distraction technique, but also, as I say, grounding. 
So you literally will look around and take note of five things that you can see. And then when you've done that, you then maybe listen out for four things that you can hear. And then when you've done that, three things that you can feel. Now that could be internally, or you could be actually feeling something around you, touch. Mm -hmm. And then two things that you can smell. And if you can't particularly get in touch with anything that you can smell, think of your favorite smells, mm -hmm. two of your favorite smells. And then one thing that you can taste. And again, if you can't, if you've got nothing to taste, maybe if you've got some water with you to have a drink of water and that's a really calming thing to do. So that's where I would start. Then I think a really good way to get into positive emotion is gratitude. Mm -hmm. So maybe thinking about on a daily basis, really start small and think of something that you're grateful for and build up from the small things to maybe, you know, the, 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 the just expand it into things that you're really grateful for in your life. Mm -hmm. It's a good, good way to focus on, on, on those positives. It's, it's, a, it's a way of kind of looking for them, isn't it? It definitely is. And it, it, again, there has been some research that it really helps with anxiety to, to tap into gratitude. And I appreciate that when you're in that place, it's not easy. It's Absolutely. not something you yeah. for. We've got that negativity bias that we're, that we're wired to see danger and we're looking for danger but it's about you know taking a different track and um, gratitude can help with that mm -hmm. and the other thing that i really like and something that's really a really small simple thing and all of these things are free is to um, look up one of my favorite things on the positive psychology course was um, positive emotion and um, one of the uh, emotions that i studied was awe and uh, it links in really well with the sky because when you actually look up at the sky, um, if you really kind of like get practiced at doing this, it can give you that really awesome and inspiring feelings. Mm -hmm. It's ever changeable. And it gives you that opportunity to just get outside for a few minutes, breathe, look up. Mm -hmm. I imagine there's something physical as well about having your head tilted back Absolutely. and opening your airways yeah. and kind of stretching. Definitely. Yeah. Look the, up. These, these kind of... Everything to look down. Yeah, it closes everything off, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we look down and we're... Actually, it's so nice to just look up. And you've got a reason to look up, see the sky. Yeah, I think I think a lot of the things you, you, we're, we're talking about here is that it's connecting body and mind, isn't it? It's kind of allowing allowing one to to, to have a bit more control or, or shifting that around Absolutely. a little bit. Just working on moving a little bit between, yeah. between the two. And, yeah, yeah. Take, taking a different approach. Yeah. 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 So uh, which uh, people and services do you, do you kind of continue to learn from? Who do you tend to follow and who do you tend to keep an eye on? Um, one of the things that I'm a member of, the community that I'm a member of, is uh, Fresh Air Fridays. And uh, Fresh Air Fridays are a national group of people. Um, and uh, they take people outside. They say, we take people outside to feel good on the inside. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's facilitators there. It's a self -de a personal development course out in nature mm -hmm. with a different theme every month. And there's uh, lots of facilitators all around the country. So as a member of that community, I feel like I'm always developing as well as actually passing that knowledge on to my clients. Um, I'm in a few networking groups, um, Wessex Wellness, which gives me a lot of um, contact with other therapists and uh, New Forest, because well, I live in the New Forest. So New Forest, uh, Mind, Body and Spirit is another networking group so i kind of that's where i keep you know get some sort of like contacts and connections from um and anything positive psychology i'll be i'll be looking looking at yeah so you you're surrounded i guess by lots of people with with similar kind of mindsets that you can all learn from and bounce ideas yeah. around yeah actually that's a good point you said you know there's a possibility of some face to face and and we hadn't actually covered whereabouts your base because obviously we're covering such a big area here so yeah. your new forest base yes i am yeah yeah yeah, so, yeah. okay quite easy to quite easy to access yeah, yeah. and lots of nature 
Lovely. I know. I'm very, very lucky. I'm very grateful. Across the road, I step into the new forest. Beautiful. Yeah. It sounds gorgeous. So, Kim, that all sounds really helpful. Uh, have you got any other tips maybe for us? Um, one of the things that I used in that I was using in lockdown, Claire, was um, a free service that Fresh Air Fridays provide, and it's called Breathing Space. And it literally is that. It's a half hour session and they run those uh, different days, different times. If you go to their website, which is www.freshairfridays.co.uk, um, go link, uh, follow the link products and services and it will come up as breathing space and you just literally click on that to join a session. Um, the session is a chance to tune into where you're at and how you're feeling like emotionally, physically, yourself and just keep that to yourself and then do a breathing exercise and then you get the opportunity to share with one or two other people uh, just what's going on for you at, at the moment which is a good way to connect with others um, and then it's a guided meditation and then we would finish with gratitude which is kind of like all the things that uh, are that Fresh Air Fridays are about but all packed into a half hour session so I think you know it's a really good use of half hour and it, it sounds really accessible for people who are maybe dipping their toes into this as like a first step maybe haven't tried some of these ideas before um so have to have to have somewhere that they can go and kind of look into it a little bit and give it a, a kind of tester for half an hour and see how they find it Absolutely. And what I've found is when I've been on the sessions myself, is that there's been quite a few people working from home. Mm -hmm. You know, that whole isolation, maybe not seeing anyone else like you might do in the office. They're working from home, don't see anyone else and just log on for half an hour just to connect with other people and do it as well. Connect with Sorry. themselves. And to be able to connect with themselves, like you say, if they're busy kind of in a very working headspace. Absolutely. Yeah. Breathing space. So um, how could people find out more about uh, your service and how to get in contact with you, maybe to, to, to explore a little bit some of the different things that you offer and see what might be a good fit for them? Yeah, well, I think if you want to know more uh, more about all any things that I've talked about today, uh, my website. So it is instylecoaching.com. Um, uh, so that's my website. And um, I mostly use Instagram. So if anybody wants to follow me on Instagram, it's kim.furnish. Um, and as I say, all my details, are, you know, my um, email address, my phone number is on my website. So I'd be really happy to chat to anybody. Yeah, I imagine even if they've just got some questions about how these things work, um, yeah, just, get in contact with you. just make that first step and, and have a chat with you about things. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Happy to help. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for talking to us today. I really appreciate it. It's very nice to, to kind of think about mental health in the ways that we've talked about it today. So thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you for inviting me, Claire.